What's up, everyone? Welcome to the April 6th edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. Tonight, we have a six game NBA slate, not as many moving parts as we had last night, obviously, half as many games. Um, but there is still plenty of injury news uh, that we're waiting on. There are a couple of questionable questionable players that will matter we just as i started recording this got donovan mitchell and mike conley ruled out for utah so that'll change some things and then we also still have not received an injury report for the phoenix suns there's a decent chance they rest some guys tonight against the clippers so be sure to tune in to the deeper dive and live before lock as always on the awesome youtube channel but for now taking a look at five of the top tournament options using the boom bus tool on awesome.com starting at number five kevin durant takes on the New York Knicks in a game that the, the Nets need to win. Durant is projected for about 10% ownership with a 16% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Durant has small forward and power forward eligibility on FanDuel. He's $11,500. And in the games that he has played without James Harden and with Kyrie Irving this year, Durant has averaged 1.36 FanDuel points per minute in 38.2 minutes per game. If this game is competitive, it's likely that you're getting at least 38 minutes from Durant, if not more. Not getting a ton of ownership because you do have Luka Doncic on this slate. You have Trey Young. You have some other guys uh, that you can go to as well. But at the same time, there's not nearly as much opportunity cost in getting to Durant as there was last night because the slate doesn't have Embiid, Giannis, or Jokic, who we know are the three you know real premier guys to pay up for. Number four, Zach Levine missed last night's game, but he's probable to, pl to play tonight. He's shooting guard only on FanDuel. But he's also only $7,100. He's projected for 22% ownership with a 26% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Levine does have a difficult matchup against the Boston Celtics, but he's averaged 36 minutes per game in the games that he's played with Vucevic and DeRozan this year. He's averaged 1.05 FanDuel points per minute in those games. Even if you assume that his per minute production comes down a little bit in this spot, if you call it a fantasy point per minute and 36 minutes, he still has a, a solid you know, medium projection for a $7,100 price tag, and he's certainly capable of exceeding it. Number three, Paul George projected for 24% ownership with a 27% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He has shooting guard and small forward eligibility, and he's only $9,000. In the games he's played this year, George has averaged 1.27 FanDuel points per minute and 35 minutes per game. Prior to his last game, the Clippers said that his minutes restriction would be loosened. Uh, he had played 32 minutes or so uh, two games ago. So he wasn't on a strict minutes restriction anyway. In the last game, he played about 29 minutes, but he didn't play at all in the fourth quarter of that game. I think there's a good chance that he gets back to his season average of 35 minutes tonight against the Suns. Also potentially working in his favor, and I mentioned it earlier uh, in this video, we don't have an injury report from the Suns yet. We know that they're a good team defensively, good team overall, but there's a, also a good chance that they rest several, if not all, of their starters tonight, in which case the matchup does look a little bit more appealing for Paul George. Number two, Kristaps Porzingis, projected for 23% ownership with a 30% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Porzingis has power forward and center eligibility. He's only $8,900. He played last night, um, played about 27 minutes in three quarters of a blowout win over the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's not on the injury report for Washington tonight, so there's no real reason, at least right now, to think that he's going to be limited or not going to be out there for the Wizards. In the games that Porzingis has played, Without Kyle Kuzma this year, he's averaged 29.4 minutes per game and a very respectable 1.51 FanDuel points per minute. And coming in at number one, Luka Doncic, 36% projected ownership, 38% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He has a favorable matchup taking on the Detroit Pistons. He's only $11,200, and he has point guard and shooting guard eligibility, so you have four spots to roster him at instead of two. In the games that Doncic has played without Porzingis and without Tim Hardaway and with Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie this season, he's averaged 36.6 minutes per game and 1.49 FanDuel points per minute. So to recap, the top five tournament options on FanDuel, number five, Kevin Durant, number four, Zach Levine, number three, Paul George, number two, Kristaps Porzingis, and number one, Luka Doncic.